Okay, recently in class we've been asked to evaluate the sum using sigma notation, and, and here's one particular problem that I would like to look at with you. Um, find the summation of 2i as i goes from 1 to 20. Um, what we have done before in, in earlier lessons is that we just do the summation, but here we have from 1 to 20, we're going to be kind of busy here. So here's a, an alternative way to do this. Um, we'll pull this piece out. We'll pull this 2 out right here. This 2 out right here. We'll take 2 times the summation of i as i goes from 1 to 20. Right? And here's where we have to start using those formulas, those summation formulas that hopefully you've gotten really good at. And that would end up looking like this, wouldn't it? Here's our 2, and we're going to take out the sigma notation and put it into um, summation formulas. And the summation formula for i is n plus, no it's not, it's n <laughs> times n plus 1 all over 2. And from here we would just substitute in 20, wouldn't we? Um, so these two, these two cross out, we'd have 20 times 21 is equal to <clears throat> it's equal to 420 equal to 420 so I think that's pretty easy again you have to memorize these summation formulas and there are, there are four major ones summation formulas that you, that you really need to know to be able to do this stuff so make sure you've memorized your summation formulas let's take a look at one more example that starts out I did it two ways and the second way is the first way I should have done it and I wouldn't have had to bother with all this stuff but the uh, question pops up like this it asks us to find the summation so find the summation of i minus 1 squared as i goes from 1 to 20 now hopefully what you're seeing here is that <coughs> you could reduce this i minus 1 would be 19 and you'd have the summation of i squared as i goes from 1 to 19. But I didn't start out doing it that way, so let's see how this thing unraveled on me. Uh, good news came up to the right answer. Bad news, oh my gosh, what a pain in the neck. So first thing I did was that I, I foiled this thing out, and it ended up looking like this. It ended up looking like the summation of i squared minus 2i plus 1. Oh, and it's not to n, right? It's to 20, so that was something to think about with the 20. So I got that, and then I started to break this down. I started to take the summa summation by parts. So I took the first part first, and I took the summation of i squared. That's here. As i goes from 1 to 20. And I took, I factored out this too, negative 2 here now, it's negative 2 right here, times the summation of i as i goes from 1 to 20, plus summation of 1 as i goes from 1 to 20. So I knew some stuff here, right? this kind of turned and just really unraveled on me, and I'm going to show you how it works out really well in a second, but by the time I realized that I should have done this differently, I was already in the middle, and I thought to myself, I, this should still work. So this is what I did. Right? I switched to summation formulas, right? I want to get that sigma notation out. So I start using the summation formulas. Now I got this. I took this piece out, right? I know the formula for this, and I got, I got this. Right, this turns out to be n plus, I'm sorry, n times n plus 1 times the quantity 2 n plus 1 all over 6, right? Minus 2. Again, I'm here. This negative 2 right here is this one down here. And I know that i, I know the formula for i, and the formula for i is n times the quantity n plus 1 all over 2. Right? And I know the formula for this, and it's just Cn, isn't it? 
So 20 times 1 is 20. So I actually took that here. Actually, I should have said that. I should have done it that way. I should have said plus, plus CN. So CN. Now I'm going to sub in N equals 20 because, right, N equals 20. So I started to do that, and this really, I was like, God, I can't mean for me to do all this, all this work. I, I kept plugging away at it. So I just took these values here, and here I got 20, right? So n is 20, so 20. Uh, 20 plus 1 is 21, isn't it? 2 times 20 plus 1 is 41, isn't it? 41 all over 6 minus 2 times, again, same thing, 20 times 21. This, every place I found an n, I'm putting in 20. So 20 plus 1 is just 21 right here. And this 2 down here, guys, is this one here. Plus c, our constant was 1, right? Constant was 1 times 20 is 20. So plus 20. Then I start pounding away at this math. And the math is just god awful. But anyway, this times this times this divided by 6 is 2,870. This two and this two cancel, but it's negative. So minus 420, that's this math here, plus 20 is equal to, and lo and behold, it is equal to 2,470. So all that work, it does work out, but then look at what I should have done here. Take a look at what I wish I had done here. And what I wish I had done here was this. I wish I had taken this value, and I wish I had taken this thing that said, Right, let's look at this with new eyes and say, okay, what could I have done here? And it's the summation of i minus 1 squared as i goes from 1 to 20. I could have actually reduced this and said, okay, instead of making it from 20, I'll make it from 19. So I'll change this to 19. And now this is just i squared, isn't it? Right? Nothing to factor out. This is actually pretty good. I'm going to go straight to summation of uh, summation formulas. Summation formulas, and we know that i squared is this. So i squared, right? I squared is my brain actually kind of hurts a little bit today. N times quantity n plus one times two quantity two n plus one all over 6, all over 6, which gave us, right, gave us, right, the n is 19 now, so it gave us 19 times 20 times 39, all over 6, which guess what it's equal to? 2,470. Do it whichever way you want. Seems to me that the second way was a lot easier, so I kind of Regret that a little bit. Regret it a little bit. Um, let's uh, take a look really quick while we're here. Look over here. See if we can do this here. Document. So just want to do some of these things really quick using your calculator. So in your calculator, please make sure this is on your CAS Inspire. Please make sure that um, you're not on Scratchpad. You should be uh, go to Home Document and, and insert calculator. So calculator here. And then what I do is choose calculus, whoops, choose calculus, choose sum, and then make sure you type it in the way you see it on the problem. And let's see the problem that we had was I. So we have I equals 1 to 20, yeah, 1 to 20. And I have to quantify this again, which is, what was it? Not what was it? It was I minus 1, wasn't it? So i minus 1 quantity squared, and then hit enter. And there's our number. So just some proof using your calculator. Proof using your calculator. Oh, we can try this just to make sure that I didn't lie. Uh, calculus sum uh, i from 1. 19, let's see if that would give us the same answer here of just I squared. And lo and behold, so a lot of work for a little bit of answer.
But there it is. I hope it was helpful, and I hope you guys are studying and working on this stuff. It's going to become increasingly important, of course, until we get to uh, 